in the ancient Greek myth, Prometheus, against the decree of all the other gods, gives man fire. And what is fire? It provides us with comfort. It gives us force. It gives control. Even today, our engines and machinery are fueled by its combustion. But then we have water. A thing so necessary to life, yet if we submerge ourselves in it, we drown. Air is so dearly needed, and without it, we will suffocate. But to balance out that air, we need tangibility. We need earth. From the earth, life sows seeds and grows foods to keep ourselves and the animals alive. The elemental forces aren't simply ideas of importance, but of the utmost importance. We combine them and fuse them for desired outcomes. It cooks our food. It gives us shelter. They keep us safe. They, in their proper proportion, keep us fueled and active. Even we are essentially a fusion of material, water, air, space, and thermal energy. The ancient man seemed earnestly capable of understanding many of these factors. Yet there was more. He looked around at the animals and saw himself in them. In their faces, he saw similitude of design. In their bodies, he saw of metaphor. In their existence, he saw his own, a being destined to be cold or pass away in abrupt freedom. He noted that all things were not created, but merely rearranged to meet certain ends. Assuming the same of his creator, he sought to rearrange more effectively and more directly. For example, man does not create a house. He simply rearranges all the prime materials to then have the unity or the items which he will then rearrange further into making a house. He has not created a house. He has just put things in their place. Or a painter does not create a painting. He merely rearranges paints, which are themselves a rearranged item, into a painting, which you can then see, based on its construction, a particular thing. He noted that all things were not created, but rearranged to meet certain ends. Yet with what faculties did he actually form things? It wasn't the elements. The man formed with first imagination, then speech, then writing then locomotion. These four qualities would be the foundation of all things formally magical. Yet the fifth concept arose, that thing I mentioned, when man saw himself in the animals, and in space, and in time, he saw meaning in exterior form, and thereby created symbol. Symbols were nothing more than representations of a deeper experience. And from that, Magic was born. Later, the man looked for more exterior forces, and he found one thing that he couldn't alter. Stars and planets. They were set in stone, and they were greater than he was, moving in a grand cycle. The sun along its ellipse and the moon every evening, consistently active. He himself, along with the planets and animals, was part of a cycle that determined his state of being. Therefore, the stars gave him some indication of time, of movement, and of seasons. He could not control them, so he got in tune with them. He gave those seasons a strict meaning and expectation, and even then metaphorically tied them to himself. It isn't that magic came from some distant place far beyond the human being. Yet instead, in the rearranging of physical matter, we would seek comfort in arranging the four qualities mentioned above. He would think, and he would speak, and he would write, and he would move. These would then be tied to the elements. His fifth concept was so extensively more valuable, this concept of symbol, and would be the integral part of the other four states. He would think into symbol, speak symbolically, write and create a symbol, and he would move with significance. All of this work was fueled by a great emotion and desire, which he believed was the only means to generate the cavity for creation, 
he couldn't create or make. He could only form. Therefore, he would go to loftier spaces to achieve certain ends. In my opinion, this is the origin of all magical arts. It is asking oneself to form, like any general activity asks of us to do, but with the foundational aspects of what it means to create. And beyond this, I think there is nothing more to consider.